Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of biochemistry. We are doing this from Satya Narayana. Mineral metabolism कर रहे हैं और आज काफी सारे mineral discuss करने हैं चुनने मुन्ने। Actually ये मैं चुनने मुन्ने जो कह रहा हूँ ना इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि इनकी importance नहीं है। Some of them are super important और आपके काफी जो body में enzymatic reactions हैं उसमें heavily involved हैं। So please don't take me wrong कि जो मैं चुनने मुन्ने कह रहा हूँ पता चला आप इनको छोड़ दें। So they are चुनने मुन्ने in the context of their size of the text। यानी एक-एक दो-दो paragraph है तो वो सारे आज cover करेंगे, ठीक है? Zinc से बात start करते हैं। बहुत important है आपकी body में wound healing के लिए और अभी इसको discuss करते हैं काफी enzymatic reactions में भी इसकी importance है। The total content of zinc in the adult body is about two gram और prostate gland is very rich in zinc. Zinc is mainly an intracellular element. कोई इसमें मुश्किल बात तो नहीं है ना समझने की या ये भी मैं समझाऊँ कि intracellular का मतलब क्या है। I hope you know that, right? अच्छा biochemically it's an important component of many enzymatic reactions. Carbonic anhydrase का आपने नाम सुना है। All the reactions जहाँ carbon dioxide और water convert हो रहे होते हैं by carbonic acid में and then into bicarbonate and hydrogen. So carbonic anhydrase में zinc required है। Alcohol dehydrogenase, alkaline phosphatase, superoxide dismutase. So all these are super important enzymes as you know. Zinc may be regarded as an antioxidant since the enzyme superoxide dismutase protects the body against free radical injury. So you know one of the enzymes that handles the free radical is the superoxide dismutase. Okay, and zinc is required for the function of this particular enzyme. Uh, the storage and secretion of zinc um, from the beta cells of the pancreas, a, uh, insulin, sorry, not zinc. So the fact is that the beta cells in the pancreas are insulin from the beta cells, they need zinc. So zinc is a pusher of insulin to get out of the beta cell into the blood. Zinc is necessary to maintain the normal levels of vitamin A in the serum. It is also required for wound healing. Um, it, it, is um, you know also present in a protein which is known as gestin and that is important for taste sensation ab dekh rahe kitne sare metabolically important functions hain zinc ke it is also um ye sunne zara important for proper reproduction ye perhaps for this reason it is very much in high quantity in the prostate gland because the prostatic secretions ultimately go you know um in the semen right Okay, so dietary requirements is about 10 to 15 milligrams per day and increased in pregnancy and lactation. This is true for a lot of different minerals, by the way. Good sources include good food, including meat, fish, egg, milk, beans, and nuts. They're all expensive items, right? Absorption mainly happens in the duodenum and zinc from animal sources is better absorbed than vegetable sources. Zinc absorption appears to be dependent on a protein which is known as metallothionin. Important name in exam, we have to ask questions in the exam. Phytate, calcium, copper, iron and uh, all these which are listed now interfere while small peptides and amino acids promote. You have a pattern note that in the mineral metabolism, for all minerals, ke liye you should know what the body is in the body, biochemical or biological functions, kya hai, sources, kya hai, dietary requirement, kitni hai, hamari absorb, how it is in the serum, mein hota hai. so the concentration of zinc in serum is about 100 mg per day. If you remember, it's okay, but it doesn't ask the concentration. Koi pushta nahi hai. Erythrocyte contains higher content of zinc, right? Um, and then, फिर आपको हर mineral ही में हमने ये भी पढ़ा है कि what are the disease conditions जिसमें वो mineral involved है। So zinc deficiency अगर हो रही है, it is associated with growth retardation, wound healing is affected, काफी सारी जो wound healing ointments हैं उसमें zinc होता भी है। Anemia, loss of appetite, taste sensation, is permatogenesis में गड़बड़। So जो जो biochemical functions थे zinc के, अगर zinc deficiency होगी तो वो functions affected होंगे। It's a simple story, right? And acrodermatitis, enteropathia is pathica, is a rare inherited metabolic disease of the zinc, which is associated with poor absorption, but that's such a rare condition. So in my career, I have never seen a patient with this diagnosed, right? So it's a very very rare Theoretically, you should know that if zinc is not absorbed, so this pathological condition can happen. Zinc toxicity is often observed in welders due to inhalation of zinc oxide fumes. The manifestation of zinc toxicity, so this was the condition when zinc is uh, deficient and this is then the condition when zinc is present in higher amounts and this happens when welding. Karte Actually, in the ke welding uh, stuff, mein ye zinc oxide hota tha. so if the person absorbs zinc oxide, inhales it and that can sometimes lead to zinc toxicity including pancreatitis, anema, etc. 
एक्सेसिव सेलिब्रेशन अल्सरेशन बट एक तो वेल्डर्स अब न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी की तरफ चले गए हैं सो जिंक ऑक्साइड फ्लेम्स हमेशा मौजूद नहीं होते वेल्डिंग इंडस्ट्री में राइट बट एनी वे ओवरऑल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आइन एंड मिनरल जिंक विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मेनी बायोकेमिकल फंक्शन एंड देन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन विच इज मोलिबीनम इट इज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट ऑफ इंजाइम्स जेंथीन ऑक्सीडेज एल डी हाई डी ऑक्सीजन सल्फाइड सो रिमेम्बर दिस वन इज इन बोल्ड एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर न्यूक्लिक एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म राइट नाइट्रिक रिडक्ट इज ऑल्सो कंटेन मोलिबीनम एंड दैट इज बेसिकली अ प्लांट इंजाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्लांट मेटाबॉलिज्म द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मोलिबीनम आर नॉट क्लियरली नोन उसका नाम भी अक्सर लोगों को नहीं पता होता हाउवर इट इज वाइडली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द नेचुरल फूड सो यू आर एक्चुअली फाइन इसकी डेफिशिएंसी इतनी कोई ज्यादा रिपोर्टेड नहीं है मोलिबिनोसिस इज अ रेयर डिसऑर्डर कॉज बाय एक्सेसिव कंजप्शन ऑफ मोलिबिनम इट्स मैनिफेस्टेशन इंक्लूड इम्पेयरमेंट इन ग्रोथ डायरिया एंड इंटेस्टिनल एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कॉपर इज डिमिनिश इफ देयर इज हाई मोलिबीनम सो बेसिकली आपको ये पता होना चाहिए इस पूरे जो डिस्कशन है उसका क्रक्स ये है कि मोलिबीनम बेसिकली इंजाइम्स में प्रेजेंट है विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर डिफरेंट मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शन ऑफ योर बॉडी देन कोबॉल्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व कोबॉल्ट कॉन्टेंट ऑफ वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व इज अबाउट फोर परसेंट बाई वेट एंड इफ कोबॉल्ट इज नॉट देयर वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व इज अफेक्टेड एंड देन यू गेट ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व एसोसिएटेड डिसऑर्डर सो द फंक्शन ऑफ कोबॉल्ट द सेम इज दर ऑफ वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व इफ दिस इज डेफिशेंट यू फेस द म्यूजिक ऑफ मेगेलो प्लास्टिक एनीमिया okay administration of cobalt stimulates production of hormone erythropoietin which promote erythropoiesis so more cobalt more blood formed prolonged administration of cobalt is however toxic and it result in polycythemia so obviously more and more cobalt getting more and more erythropoiesis getting more and more red blood cell and hence polycythemia simple stuff fluorine ka jab kabhi naam aata hai so you should always think about के टूथपेस्ट में इसकी हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन रखी जाती है पानी में फ्लोरिडेशन किया जाता है बिकॉज इट इज यूजली वेरी गुड फॉर योर बोन्स एंड टीथ एंड दिस इज वेयर इट इज यूजली प्रेजेंट एंड द बेनिफिशियल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फ्लोरिन इन ट्रेस अमाउंट आर ओवर शेडोर्ड बाय इट्स हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स कॉज बाय एक्सेसिव कंजप्शन यानी इस लाइन को गौर से पढ़ें जरा फायदे की तो चीज़ है लेकिन अगर ये ज्यादा हो जाए तो नुकसान भी काफी ज्यादा है राइट बाय केमिकली फ्लोराइड प्रिवेंट्स द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डेंटल कैरी सो इट्स गुड फॉर योर टीथ इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर डेवलप of bones as well it inhibits the activities of some enzymes uh, particularly uh, ones involved in glycolysis sodium fluoride for example inhibits enolase so if there is high amount of fluoride in the body enolase will be inhibited and your glycolysis will be affected same is true for aconitase which is an enzyme of the citric acid cycle so if you inhibit aconitase this is disturbed right um you require very little quantity of fluoride in drinking water is the main source a so government actually add fluorine into uh, the drinking water fluoride into the drinking water and if it is deficient there will be dental carry however increase in the concentration of fluoride uh, excessive intake of fluoride is very harmful to the body and that is known as fluorosis an intake of uh, two parts per million um particularly more than 5 parts per million in children causes mottling of enamel and discoloration of the teeth the teeth are weak and become rough so garbar shuru ho gayi these manifestations are referred to as dental fluorosis so increase fluoride in the body and dental problems decrease fluoride in the body and dental problems so iski bilkul appropriate matra honi chahiye otherwise zyada hone se aur kam hone se dono hi situation mein garbar hai an intake of fluoride above 20 parts per million this is very very high and therefore it is toxic and then it can induce pathological changes in the bones hypercalcification even fractures and increased density in pelvis spine and painful situation right the manifestations are then known as skeletal fluorosis so agar danton mein manifestation hai this is known as dental fluorosis and if the manifestations are predominantly present in the skeleton this is known as skeletal uh, fluorosis okay and um, then itna hi serious ho jata hai baaz auqat ke the individuals are just unable to perform their daily routine functions and this condition of advanced fluorosis is referred to as genualgum ye aksar logon ko naam nahi pata hota naya naam lagta hai so this is what it is okay the fluoride content of water in some parts of andhra pradesh punjab and karnataka is quite high so these people are then prone to fluorosis okay fluoridation of water and use of fluoride toothpaste in order to prevent the dental caries in children some advanced countries like uh, the united states of america they have started fluoridation of water and also incorporating fluoride in the toothpaste okay so whenever this word comes in 
fluorine, think about your teeth and bones. Then selenium is the next uh, important one. It was originally identified as an element that causes toxicity to animals in some parts of the USA. Later work, however, has shown that selenium in smaller amounts is also important biologically for humans. So, for example, along with vitamin E, it prevents the development of hepatic necrosis and muscular dystrophy. So, good for your liver and muscles, right? Selenium is involved in maintaining a structural integrity of biological membranes. And you know how many membranes you have. You have got trillions of cells and all those cells have membranes and the nuclear membrane and the membranes surrounding the organelles and selenium is important for all of them selenium in the form of selenocysteine is an essential component of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase and this is another gadget that you have this enzyme protects the cell against the damage caused by the hydrogen peroxide so selenium is a good antioxidant then right selenium prevents lipid peroxidation and protects the cell against the free radical so behaving as an antioxidant Selenium protects animals from carcinogenic chemical, so it's anti-carcinogenic as well. Selenium binds with heavy metals and protects the body from their toxic effect. Thank you, selenium, for that. Selenium contains uh, an enzyme containing enzyme 5 tiogenase convert uh, T4 to um, triiodothyroid. So also important for production of thyroid hormones okay thyroidoxin reductase involved in purine nucleotide metabolism is also a selenoprotein so actually selenium has a lot of different functions all very important right requirements 50 to 200 yeah, exact number yaad nahi tab bhi theek hai. and major sources are organ meats organ ka matlab hai ke kaleji khaa rahe, liver kidney gurde khaa rahe, seafoods khaa rahe, isme selenium is high uh, if it's less, it is deficiency in animal lead to muscular dystrophy, pancreatic fibrosis, also liver issue and reproductive problems in humans, Kashan disease, which is an endemic cardiomyopathy, particularly in some countries, is attributed to deficiency of selenium. Just remember the name and that's fine. Epidemiological studies reveal that low serum selenium levels are also associated with increased risk of cardiovascular uh, and some cancers as well further highlighting the importance of selenium uh, in maintenance of appropriate cardiovascular system and protection against cancer. And there is also a condition where selenium levels go high and this is what we call the selenosis, the toxicity because of selenium. And the manifestations include weight loss, emotional disturbances, garlic order. Garlic order is particularly important if they give this an exam, you have to think about selenosis. The compound dimethyl selenide is responsible for the garlic order. You know, you have garlic or the doctor and the doctor says, wow, garlic order, this is selenosis, right? Then, I think the last one to finish off the chapter is chromium. The total human body contains about 6 milligrams of chromium and in the blood it's about 20 milligrams per DL, right? And um, then chromium performs several biochemical functions. Let's go through them. In association with insulin, chromium promotes the utilization of glucose. So it's important for insulin functioning. It also lowers the totem cho serum cholesterol level, so good for you. It is involved in lipoprotein metabolism. Chromium decreases serum LDL and increases the HDL, which is the good cholesterol. Therefore, it is health-promoting uh, mineral. It is believed that chromium participates in the transport of amino acid in different cells of the body, particularly in your heart and liver. And the dietary requirement, if you look at cereals, cheese, meat, um, it's pretty much in there. Right, so chromium deficiency causes disturbances in all these metabolism. Uh, age of functions listed there, wohi metabolism may disturbance ho jayegi. So insulin ke function may disturbance hogi, to carbohydrate metabolism, cholesterol may problem hoga, to lipid problem. Right, excessive intake of chromium result in toxicity, but that's pretty rare. I haven't heard of such cases normally. So that's maine jo kaha tha chunne munne minerals but they are very important you see they are super important for a lot of biochemical activities in your body so that finishes off this chapter all the very best we will start a new chapter very soon take care have a good weekend